we are going to make view C without an invisible zipper. I do want to mention that once this is all done, the neckline or the neck for view C is not going to be as close as it is here on the model. Also, view C in the back is very, very high. So there are only two pattern pieces for this garment. You have your bodice piece, which is number six, and then you have your neckband piece, which is number seven. If you decide that you want your back finished hem edge to come up a little bit higher, then you would just go ahead and lengthen in this center back seam area. Just go ahead and lengthen this however much you want your back area you know, to be longer. Now, for this demonstration, just because I was short on fabric, I decided to fold this pattern piece in a little bit, not quite in half, but I just folded it, which created like short sleeves. So when the garment is all finished, it will look like I have short sleeves. And that's why. So I just folded it up a little bit longer than an inch under the notch line and that will give you the look of short sleeves. But I just did that like I said because I was short on fabric and this is just a really rough little mock up. Now I made sure to cut out my bodice piece before I cut out the neckband piece because I needed to measure around the new neckline in order to determine how much I was going to have to lengthen the neckband piece. So you may want to just keep that in mind. So I started out by tracing my bodice piece. So that's what you see here. And what I did on my bodice piece is I'll show you on the original. I decided that I wanted the neckline to be an inch wider than it is here on the original pattern piece. So I just took this measuring device and then I just went around and I made little dots around the neckline at the one inch mark. I would, you know, measure one inch, make a dot one inch make a dot all the way around and then once I finished which is what I did here I was able to connect the dots and then I just cut everything out so that actually made the neckline one inch wider than the original pattern so that was what I did initially so next I went to the neckband piece and I had to lengthen the neckband piece to match the neckline. So in order to determine how long the neckband piece needed to be lengthened to, I cut everything out and then you want to sew up the center back seam. After the center back seam is sewn up, then you can measure around the neckline of your bodice piece. Once I measured around my neckline, I got about 20 inches. That 20 inches is how much I decided to lengthen the neckband by. Now you can do a little bit shorter than 20 inches and you can do like maybe 19 and a half. And then when you're sewing the neckband onto your neckline you just want to stretch it to fit a little bit but in my case I just decided to make things easy and I just lengthened the neckband 20 inches to match the neckline after you cut out your neckband you want to fold it in half and sew the short side closed so that you're making a tube then next you want to place the wrong sides together and fold your tube in half now go back to your top and sew the center front seams together. You have 
your center front seam. We already did the center back. So next you want to go ahead and sew the center front seam. Take your neckband tube and match the center back seam to the center back seam of the top. Pin everything together and sew your neckband onto your top. This is where you would stretch to fit if your neckband is a little bit shorter. So after you sew the neckband on, it'll look something like this. And you might be thinking, hey, that looks nothing like the pattern. But what you actually have to do is open it up the long way and then fold it down. And then these will become your sleeves. And you're going to sew up to the dot. And this will become a sleeve. And then this will be actually how you slip the garment on over your head. After that, everything is attached. You will go to step nine in your pattern directions. And then you can just finish your garment according to the pattern directions. So this is the finished garment. It is just a rough muslin made from scraps. I didn't finish any of the seams and I also used like a jersey knit for the neckband and a cotton interlock knit for the bodice. So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. In Japan, pillow fighting is a competitive sport.